So I wanted to share an update as it relates to getting live video from your multi-rotor or your wing down to a ground station. Over the years, I've done a few videos about getting your GoPro set up for FPV. And in this video, I wanted to introduce this GoPro Hero 4. This belongs to a buddy of mine. He actually reached out and asked if we could do a shot. We're gonna put it on the QAV 400. And previously, I've posted a few videos that talk about using this little Sony camera to get great video out to your monitor or your goggles. And this guy comes in super handy if you're doing true FPV flight and want to get decent resolution. But in our case, we want to just get some good 4K video as well as some stills and there's no need to actually fly FPV. We just want to be able to frame it, get it down on a monitor from the air and take our shot. This is my Hero 3 Plus and you'll see this little transmitter that I introduced in a previous video. I'll put all the links to these in the description below. But pretty easy setup. You plug it in on the side. Got a little LiPo battery. Now the trouble with this is this is a little lipo from the hubson quadcopter it's a little mini quad it's a one cell but that being said it's a nice compact setup you can see we're transmitting everything looks really clear it's even compatible with my rc305 receiver and in this case i'm on the e-band it has all four bands and then eight channels for each but the disappointing thing is even though i can plug it into the Hero 4, with everything powered up, you can see we have no video signal. So this transmitter will work on the Hero 3 and 3 Plus, but obviously not on the Hero 4. And a simple solution that is compatible with the Hero 3, 3 Plus, and the 4 is this cable. It costs about $8. I got it off of Amazon. And on one end, you plug into your camera, and on the other end, it comes with this little connector. But what I've done is I've pulled the ground and video out of the default connector and put them in the TS-351 connector. And I'll just go ahead and plug our connector in. We'll get power. We'll plug this into the camera. And then I'll show you guys the feed from both the Hero 3 Plus and the Hero 4. So the Hero 3 Plus, go ahead and put our connector in. We'll power it with this 2S. 800 milliamp LiPo. I'll go ahead and turn on the Hero 3 Plus. And you can see we're transmitting. Now I'll do the same with the Hero 4. Same connector, haven't made any changes. I'll go ahead and power up the Hero 4. And once again, we're transmitting. So I just wanted to share those options that you have related to getting video out of your GoPro. And I have run into problems previously when flying FPV with the distortion of these cameras. That's why I have the dedicated FPV cam. But in the case of what I'm doing with my buddy and his GoPro Hero 4, this is going to work perfectly just to be able to get up in the air, get the shot framed on here. We'll do some video and some stills. Now let me mention one last option that we had with this camera. This little LCD screen on the Hero 4 is awesome. but You'll notice that you have Wi-Fi capabilities and one option was to use the GoPro app while we were in the air to basically get video back on an iPhone or iPad. And the only reason I'm reluctant to do that is, is you guys probably know that Wi-Fi is on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum and so is the FreeSky Tyrannus or any 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. I just didn't want to risk any sort of interference. I've read quite a few forum posts of people saying there is interference, there isn't, but for me, I just like to play it safe. So I'm going to opt to not use that option. We're going to use the 5.8 gigahertz boss cam transmitter and receiver combo and not even have to worry about that. So this little video out cable makes that super easy to do on multiple hero versions. So that was my quick brain dump over a few things I've experimented with in the past week just to get everything set up for this shot. If you guys have any suggestions or thoughts related to what you've been doing, please feel free to share them in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.